Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? running for the White House in America. I know everybody know Donald Trump the racist, but you didn't know Kamala Harris was a racist too. Yes, and the problem is our people have been deceived and rocked to sleep in America. We've been led astray in America. And who do we blame? Who do we blame? Look at our community. Look at our conditions. Somebody has to be blamed for the way we are living. And the problem is we have never known where to place the blame. I'm here to free you today, black man, Hispanic man, Native American Indian man. The reason why we're destroyed and led astray is because of your Christian pastors. It's because of the Christian church. The Christian pastors, they don't do what God says in this Bible. They don't follow what God says. The Christian church is built on white supremacy. The Christian church is built on lies. And when you go into that church every Sunday, they're not teaching you what God said. You know how you know? Here's the perfect example. I'm going to show you right here with one example. The church is a lie. The church says God loves everybody. That's a lie. That's not in the Bible. The Bible says the complete opposite. God does not love everybody. God does not look at everybody the same. We are not all the same. But your church been lying to black people for 400 years as if we all equal and the same. If we all equal, how come only black people are living like this? If we, are, if we all equal, how come it's only all women getting killed by the police? And all men by the police? When was the last time you heard of a white woman being killed by the police in her own house? When was the last time you ever heard of that happening? Yeah, see, that doesn't happen to them. You understand? But it does happen to us because we're not equal. The Lord says there's only two positions that we could be in as the children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? If you are black, Hispanic, and Native American, you are of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And there's only two positions that we could be in on this earth. On top of everybody or underneath everybody. And I'm gonna show it to you in the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse one. We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, started out of 1 West, 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanan. We are not affiliated with no other Israelite group or Christian organization, and we teach the truth according to the Bible. There's no such thing as everybody having a piece of the truth. It doesn't work like that. There's only one truth, and everything else is a lie. The truth is that God's chosen people the Israelites are your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. That's the truth. And anybody that says anything contrary to that, they are lying. They are absolutely lying. Now I'm going to show you right here in this Bible. Black man, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man. You only have two choices. Two choices. And I'm going to show you those choices. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 And it shall come to pass If thou shalt hearken diligently Unto the voice of the Lord thy God The Bible says it shall come to pass When you read that in the Bible It means this will happen When you read it shall come to pass It's telling you this will happen You understand The Bible says we have to hearken diligently If we hearken diligently That's just old English for listen To listen real carefully the Bible says this, if we listen real carefully, this will happen. To observe and to do all his commandments. To observe and to do what? All his commandments. How many of y'all knew there were more than 10 commandments? You knew that, brother? Well, give him a hand, most high Christ. 
Unfortunately, brother, before I came into the ISUPK, I didn't know that. And there, were, there are many people just like me that grew up in church, and we were taught that there are only ten commandments. There are more than ten commandments. You understand? There are over 600 laws, statutes, and commandments in this Bible. And the Lord told us that we have to do those commandments. We have to follow those commandments. To simplify, you know what these, the commandments are? America has their constitution. The Bible is our constitution. We were never meant to live in a nation amongst other people that are not our people. We were never meant to live amongst these oppressors, amongst these colonizers. The Lord intended for us to have our own land, our own nation, our own government. And the laws, statutes, and commandments are the constitution that governs our nation. You understand? So let's keep reading. The Lord says we do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day. And the Lord thy God will set thee on high. The Lord thy God will set us, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, where? On high. Where? On high. Above all nations. Above who? All nations. This is what God says. The Lord says if we do what he told us to do, he would set us above all nations. Now this is how you know that Christian church is alive. Because the church says that we're all the same and God loves us all the same. That's not biblical. That's not the Bible. And I know you love listening to them sermons and listening to that gospel music because it makes you feel good for a special for time. Our lives are so terrible, we live in hell, that you're looking for any type of relief. And gospel music in the Christian church is nothing more than a drug to give you a relief for a short time. That's why we go to church. We don't go to church to learn anything. We go to church to feel good. You know how you know? Take the music out of the church right now. You take the music out of every church and see how many people still go to the church. I'm going to tell you right now, all the women going to stop going off the top. You take that music out, all the women not going. Because that's why they're there. To shout and to dance and to sing. It feels good, but the problem is the church does not teach what's in the Bible. They don't teach us what God says. If they did, they would have told us that the Lord said that he would set us above all nations. This is how you know Martin Luther King was a liar. Because Martin Luther King said he had a dream from God that we would sit at the tablehood, the table of brotherhood with the white man. And that we will all be equal and to be the same when that's not what God wants. God doesn't want us to sit at the table with the white man. God doesn't want us to sit at the table with the Chinese and with Arabs. God wanted us to sit at the table above all people. And that sounds racist to you because you've been taught white supremacy in the church instead of the Bible. The Bible speaks against white supremacy. The Bible is the, the, uh, the complete opposite of white supremacy. The Bible is black supremacy. And it says it right here. If we do all he says, who will set us on high above all nations? Keep reading. Of the earth, everybody. That's your rightful position. How is it that we have all the talent and all the skills and all the intelligence and all the compassion, but somehow we're on the bottom of society? How does that work? How does that work? It's because the Lord says you only have two choices. Now let's get verse, 20, verse 68. I'm going to show you right here. Here's the flip side of that. The Lord wanted us to be on top, above all people. The question is, how come we're not above all people right now? How come we're on the bottom of society? How come we're not above? Get slacky. Don't get 68. Give me verse 15. Go to verse 15. You understand? I'm going to show you why. How a people that can send the white man to the moon with their intelligence and their hard work are somehow underneath the white man. I mean, I don't know about you. If you go to a job and you got a supervisor and you can, you know more about the job than the supervisor, shouldn't you be in charge? If you work harder and outwork the supervisor, that would make sense that you would be over him. But that's not the case. We work harder. We perform better. We know more. And somehow we're still on the bottom. This is why. Go ahead. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. Look down from thy holy habitation. 20, 28 and 15, that's 27. 28. 28, sorry. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But 
it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now here's the flip side. Here's the contract that our forefathers signed with the Most High God. This is a contract. You understand? There are two clauses in that contract. You understand? We listen to what God says, and he'll put us above all nations. Now here's the flip side. It shall come to pass if we don't do what he says, if we don't follow his commandments, if we don't stop getting high, if we don't stop prostitution, if we don't stop murder and stealing, and doing all the things that the white man has taught us to do in this place. If we don't stop those things, keep reading, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. All these curses shall come upon thee. When you look at our conditions as a people, our conditions are the direct result of the Lord cursing us. You understand? Why is the Lord cursing us? Because we don't do what he says. You understand? It's not hard if you're a parent or a grandparent. When you have kids, don't you t give your kids rules? Any good parent gives their children rules. And why do you give your children rules? There's a reason why a parent or a grandparent will give their child rules. Not to be a mean person. Not to be somebody that wants to control everything. You give your children rules for their safety. That's why. You tell your child, don't run into the street. That's a rule you give your child. And you're not telling your child that because you, you want to stop them from having fun. You tell your child, don't run into the street for their safety because they'll get hit by a car. Well, the Lord gave us rules. The Lord says, you're not allowed to sell the white man's drugs. You're not allowed to get high off the white man's drugs. You're not allowed to whore your sisters. You're not allowed as a man to lay down with a man. You're not allowed as a woman to lay down with a woman. You're not allowed to eat shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster. These rules exist for our protection. These rules exist to benefit us. And the problem is, we're so destroyed, we ignore the thing that will fix us. We ignore the thing that will help us. We will ignore the things that will change our conditions overnight. The Lord says all these curses will come over thee. You know what a curse is? I'm going to tell you a curse right now. Believing that you got to go choose between the lesser of two evils. Black people right now think that you got to choose between some racist old white man and some white woman acting like a black woman. You didn't know Kamala Harris is not a black woman. Kamala Harris is a white woman and I'll prove it. You understand? You do the lineage. Give me numbers 1 and 18. You do Kamala Harris's lineage. Her father is a white man because his father was a white man and his father was a white man. Who you are comes from the seed of your father. Kamala Harris' mother is an East Indian. Her father was an Irish man in Jamaica. A lot of y'all try to say Kamala Harris is black because her dad is Jamaican. You must don't understand Jamaica and, and other places. There are more than black people in Jamaica. There are Chinese people in Jamaica. There are Arabs in Jamaica. East Indians, right, taking it over. Taking over Jamaica. There are all types of ethnicities within the country. Just like if somebody said, oh, he's American, what does that mean? There's many ethnicities in America. You could be a white American, a black American, a Chinese American. It just so happens that Kamala Harris's father is a Irish Jamaican. His father was Irish and his father was Irish. And they came to that island selling slaves. And they made a lot of money selling Jamaicans. And Kamala Harris's grandfather, that Irish white man, had sex with a black woman and produced her father. You understand? Kamala Harris is not a black woman. She's a white woman, and Donald Trump is a white man. And part of these curses is believing that your relief is coming from choosing between two evil, racist, lying white people. Politicians. That's a curse. There's no such thing as choosing the lesser of two evils. If you choose evil, you are complicit in evil. If you got a daughter, and you got two men coming to want to, to talk to your daughter, 
and they both bad choices. Do you tell your daughter, you gotta choose one. You gotta choose the one that's just less bad. Nobody would allow their daughter to do that. You would tell her, you ain't gotta pick now one of them. Don't pick neither one of them. And let's see how that turns out. Well, it's the same thing. Right, you understand? Talk to your father, he got a man for it. And that's what we have to do. We have to go into the Bible and find out what our Heavenly Father told us. You understand? Who's our man? Who did the Lord tell us that we should follow? The Lord didn't tell us to vote. The Lord didn't tell us that a politician was coming to save us. You are a slave if you think choosing between which master is going to run the plantation is going to change your life. That's what you're doing when you vote. You're choosing between which master is going to run the plantation. It don't make a difference. You're still slave. What you should do is join together with your own people. You understand? Let me ask you this. Who did we vote for to build Black Wall Street? That's the question I want to know. Who did black people vote for to build Black Wall Street? Who did black people vote for to build Rosewood? Who did black people vote for to build all the black cities in the 1900s, the early 1900s that were prosperous? You can't even tell me. Because we didn't vote the water. We didn't vote. You know what we did? We came together amongst our own people. And that's the solution. The solution is for us to first come together and then for us to follow what God says. You understand? They wouldn't even let us vote. It was unlawful. And then when they made it legal, they would hang us for wanting to vote. That's what they would do. You understand? But we had everything. You look at Black Wall Street, white people were jealous of Black Wall Street because they said of their own mouths. How the hell does black people have more than we do? I'll tell you how. Segregation. Instead of voting, we should segregate ourselves. We should say, I'm never going to sell drugs because that's what the white man wants me to do. I'm never going to get high because that's what the white man wants me to do. I'm never going to my brother because that's what America wants me to do. I'm never going to my sister because that's what America wants me to do. I'm never going to a child or a woman or steal or lie or be a criminal or a because those are all the things America wants us to do. The solution is for us to separate ourselves from American culture, from the spirit of America, and come back to God's spirit. And God's spirit is us following what he says and loving each other. You understand? We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Yeah, Babylon is falling. Same 